Uh, my name is Rick Brown and I am a public information officer for the Army Corps of Engineers. Well, we're out here getting ready to uh, get started on phase two of the debris cleanup mission. Of course, uh, there's a lot of damage out here from these uh, wildfires from last month. So being able to get out there and understand the nuances of each of the different properties where we have to perform this debris cleanup is really probably the toughest part. We want to be able to do everything we can as quickly and as safely as possible for every property owner. We just have to be able to get in there and figure out those nuances of each property. So the debris cleanup process is really a two-phase process. Phase one is the removal of household hazardous waste by the EPA. So the EPA's got uh, that piece of it. They're removing things like all of us have underneath our kitchen sink, or out in our garage, out in the shed out back. So all those paints, uh, propane tanks, cleaning products, that kind of thing. So they're physically removing those products. Once they have cleared the site of those hazardous household waste products, then the Corps of Engineers gets the property for phase two. In phase two, we go in, basically the process is we do a site assessment to determine uh, what each individual property looks like, and we kind of talked about that. Um, they're going to do a background soil sample to give us a baseline to know what standards we have to clean that soil down to once all the debris is gone. Once those two things are complete, then we will physically remove all the ash and debris from the property. That will all be uh, checked out by the county, and it'll all have to meet state standards. And once everybody agrees that that has been done, then we can return that property back to the property owner. A lot of it has to be sorted through. Some of it is recyclable products, so we'll have to remove that and take that to the proper facility. There's a chance there still could be some hazardous materials in there, so that will have to be sorted, classified, and taken, of course, to the proper uh, facilities as well. So they absolutely have a choice, and it's very important for folks to understand that. I mentioned the two-phase process, the uh, household hazardous waste by the EPA. That portion of it has to be completed by the EPA. The right of entry form is not needed. The EPA is going through and clearing every single property of those household hazardous wastes. Now the second phase that the Corps is doing, that absolutely requires a right of entry form if you want the government to go in and clean that property. But folks can also do it themselves. They can hire their own contractors to do it if they would like to do that. But what's important to remember is that whether the Corps cleans that debris off of there or if folks hire their own private contractor or do it themselves, everybody has to meet the same state standards in terms of getting that property to uh, an environmental level that's acceptable. People uh, need that opportunity to go back onto the property, uh, find anything that's left that might be uh, important to them to take, and we absolutely have no issues with that. We encourage people to use extreme caution, of course. We encourage them to take some safety precautions, uh, and moving through and just kind of by hand sifting through some of that stuff. We've been out there and we've seen some, and I don't even know what they're called, but some sifter boxes, I guess, where they're putting, uh, you know, small handfuls of ash and debris in there to kind of sift and find the small things. Absolutely, that's fine. We just don't want folks taking uh, any heavy machinery onto the property themselves and pushing debris around. A uh, big part of what our mission is in the Army Corps of Engineers, emergency operations, is a huge piece. We have uh, the fortune, as do the uh, other uh, federal and state agencies, well, the federal agencies, of reaching out across the country. We've got assets all over the country, really all over the world. So we're able to bring those assets and the subject matter experts in from all over the world that can come in and help us with this project.